On behalf of Shimizu Cho International Exchange Association, congratulations on the 40th anniversary of the Squamish Incorporation. Happy 40th anniversary. Excellent. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm getting <laughs> 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 So I'm here today with uh, Mr. Kamagai and Mr. Harai from our sister city Shimizu in uh, Japan. So welcome both of you. Um, now what I'd like to just say is thank you for coming to Squamish. What, what do you think of our town? The impression I got is, the first of all, the beautiful mountain and the beautiful sky I was impressed with and the beautiful heart of the people of Squamish. Thank you. Um, and you're, you're the mayor of the Shimizu. Um, what similarities are there between our town and your town? We do not have this kind of relationship with any other cities. I really like this city because it's such a wonderful town. And for the next 20 or 30 years, I would like to further and deepen our relationship, especially around the youth exchanges. Do you have any hopes regarding uh, investment in our town or the Olympics? I would like to support the 2010 Olympics, which is going to be held in Vancouver and also Whistler. And as regards to the investment, I would like to discuss that with Mayor Sutherland and the chairperson of International Exchange Association. We would like to keep discussing about it. Thank you. Now, Mr. Hamurai, uh, uh, international exchanges, how have those been going um, with our town and yours? ま、and what I feel the most, the foremost importance is the education. So I would like to focus on the students' exchanges, and from next year and the next next year, we would like to further our relationships. This is where myself and the, the mayor agrees and we, it's because our generation is a generation that cannot really speak English well. So it is our wish that our children and the students in our town through this kind of exchanges uh, learn to um, speak English and uh, get to know the real international culture. That is my true wish. Thank you very much and thank you for your time and your comments. And lastly about the economical exchanges, we have we are going to open our test farm in Squamish and we are going to see how go it goes how it goes. So the um, agricultural side, we want to try if the Jap Japanese agriculture would actually work in Canada.
the District of Squamish Council and after the 40 year anniversary. So welcome Council and I just want to get a few comments from you about uh, how you feel the event went and I'll maybe start with Ray Peters. I think it went really well. I was really impressed. We got so many old politicians out, mayors and councillors. Uh, it was a great evening. Uh, it's a real tribute to Squamish that these people decided to come out and express what they felt over the years uh, and where we're going. Thank you. And Raj? Oh, it, I think it's wonderful when you get together with the people who helped to build the Squamish, the stage with it right now and we just taking the gravy and they did the real work you know the tough times early and we are here in the right time right place and just beautiful thank you thank you and yet I'm sure that you're doing your work now as well Kareen how do you feel you've made a lot of contributions to Squamish and we appreciate that Thank you, Denise. And I just want to say, I hope Ray wasn't referring to me when he said old politicians, because I've been a politician for a while, but I'm not old. <laughs> and you know, I've really enjoyed the entire time that I've had the, uh, I guess to my mind, it's a privilege to serve Squamish. It's a great community, and um, it's just looking forward to the next 40 years. And Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. I also want to talk to uh, Councillor Fenn. What do you? What was your highlight from today's event? Well, I really want to acknowledge the participation of our friends from Shimizu Cho. Um, we had um, 15 delegates um, from our sister city here for the evening, which was, um, I think, just you know, it really speaks to how international Squamish is becoming and um, uh, speaks also to the opportunities that our, our young people will have in, in terms of educational uh, exchanges and cultural exchanges in the future. Um, so i just like to thank them for, um, for coming here for the, for the event. Thank you. I think that was very special as well. And Sonia, I'm going to ask you to uh, comment on the uh, event, especially the, um, the uh, entertainers that we had, because today the entertainment was excellent and it was local. Yes, it, it's really exciting that we have such fantastic people in this community who are artists, true artists. And it also showed the multicultural nature of, of our artistic talent in our community. And so it, it, it's just, it's very exciting. I think that our staff deserve a great big thank you for all of the work that they did in terms of getting the memory lane set up and, and uh, finding the talent and getting them here and making sure that things happen happened on time and so it's just been a lovely evening and it's an evening to celebrate the wonders of Squamish and the beauty of Squamish and, and the people that live here. So thank you. And, and the last word, of course, will be to our mayor, Ian Sutherland. But before I go there, I'd just like to make the comment that I think 40 is just a perfect age. <laughs> and and uh, so, Mayor, what were your comments about today's event? I think 40 is quite young, actually. Uh, <laughs> I think tonight was a great night. You know, we had a chance to see uh, people who lived in Squamish for either their entire life or a good part of their life. We had people here who moved here in the last two years or five years or one year. We had great entertainment. We had the mayor of our sister city along with a delegation of 15 people. And it was really a festive atmosphere and people had a good time tonight. They had a chance to catch up with old friends. Um, they had a chance to meet some new friends. And I hope we do this um, every year to really celebrate what we have in our community because we really are a special place. I would agree. And I would like to thank you all for your contributions that you've given to uh, my Squamish because of course it's the hard work of volunteers such as yourself and people who work on the council that make Squamish what it is and direct it and offer the leadership and I appreciate that. And I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And to, Merry to Squamish. And Merry, you. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.